Do you find yourself struggling to take a targeted history? A common pitfall I've observed GP trainees make, they focus so much on a biomedical and they completely neglect the psychosocial aspect of the history. So they're not taking a holistic history. In this video, I'm going to share with you a conversation I had with a GP trainee. You'll see what feedback I give this GP trainee and hopefully that will help you in your preparation. This is a very challenging case. I think you realize later that there were some risks to that patient and there's possible rest, um, safeguarding issue to the child. You see, this is a case where you need to take a holistic history. I think you were so focused on the mental health, uh, anxiety, low mood, you're asking all these biomedical questions. You didn't really uh, put things in context that this was a problem because the husband was drinking a lot. You want to ask more questions to assess whether the husband has been aggressive, uh, has there been any um, harm to the patient, uh, has, has the patient been forced to do something that she doesn't want to. And that's really important and know whether this has happened in front of the child as well. Eventually, you realize that you had to do it, but the organization could have been much better. I think you would have got um, better if you actually asked questions about the patient's health agenda uh, early on, because that came a bit too late. Because if you knew what sort of um, things that was going on in this patient's mind, then you would be able to manage it better. You did acknowledge and, and show you had empathy. I think uh, you could have done it a little bit more because that would have helped you uh, to gain more trust so that the patient could open more because it, it did look like the patient was a little reluctant. Um, so sometimes um, you just um, say to the patient, I'm here to help. I understand that um, it's very difficult for you to um, actually talk about this. And, and uh, this is why I'm here. So please feel free to tell me and um, we'll be able to find a solution for you. Something like that to show you're here to help. And then that might help the patient to open up because she wants to tell you what's going on, but she, she's slightly um, uh, distressed. And, and um, that's the problem. Like the, the history is not flowing that well. Are you struggling with your consultation skills? Maybe you need help and you want to get constructive feedback. If you'd like to get help, then click the link down in the description below to see whether I can help you. If I can help you, then we can enroll you on the one-to-one -one coaching program. In this management plan here, you, you want to make sure that you consider whether there's a need for uh, domestic violence and abuse referral. That's um, one of the key things in this case. And also, um, what would you do if she doesn't want to have this? What else would you do? So you could signpost the patient then um, to uh, call um, a specific number for that. Or um, you might consider whether you might want to follow this patient up. Dr. Smith would not see him, would not see him in person. If you found this video useful, you might want to watch the next video in which I show you how to manage a complaint for SEA. Click here to watch it. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.